Padre Pio said, I hang on the cross with Jesus. What did he mean by this? This is a good video to deepen our knowledge of our Lord's passion. So keep watching to find out. Welcome to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio about the Capuchin monk, mystic and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos three times a week on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member or a friend. Today's video is a testimony given to us by Rosario Boracino about the Holy Mass of Padre Pio. He describes Padre Pio's Mass as an anticipation of heaven, a sort of foretaste of heaven. Rosario was absolutely convinced that in the celebration of the Holy Mass, Padre Pio reached the highest union with Jesus. So he was therefore a co-host of salvation and a mediator for all of his brothers and sisters. Rosario says that during the Mass, Padre Pio was almost completely detached from the world and the people around him. We saw a spiritual tension. It was as if the struggle with the enemy of souls was happening, especially when Padre Pio pronounces the words of the consecration, this is my body, this is my blood. And of course, other things added to this atmosphere. For instance, Padre Pio's long pauses at certain times and his firm striking of his breast. Rosario tells us that everyone left the church with the feeling that they had attended a mass of a priest who had been actively participating in the sufferings of Golgotha. It seemed as if Padre Pio was experiencing the pains of Christ and that he was somehow crucified with Christ. Rosario continues, This participation in the suffering of Christ only intensified during Lent. And he says, Ecstasy followed ecstasy each lasting perhaps five or six minutes. So you can imagine how long these masses would be. But despite the length, people were not bored. On the contrary, they were completely captivated. Sometimes, Rosario says, the silence in the church was broken with the words of someone exclaiming, I believe. Padre Pio often said the words of consecration with difficulty. Bowing his head, it seemed as if there was a weight, an intense weight pressing down on Padre Pio. He looked as if he was preparing to fight someone much stronger, to fight the enemy. Or perhaps he felt the weight of Jesus' cross. Beads of sweat ran down his face, even in the middle of winter. Padre Pio seemed to be in agony. Now some of you might imagine southern Italy as a very warm place, and although it is warmer in the Mediterranean climate than in the north, it still gets very cold, down to about 3 degrees Celsius or 37 Fahrenheit, cold enough to snow. So even in these cold conditions, Padre Pio would be soaked in sweat. It looked like Padre Pio was going through agony. In many sources, these moments are described as just that, agony. It was only when he raised the host after the consecration that the features of his face changed and became gentle and radiated peace. One did not feel as if these moments lasted very long. There was an impressive silence in the church like everyone was holding their breath. It was a silence that everyone took part in. Another thing that stood out was Padre Pio's resilience. According to Rosario, he remained standing for practically two hours, despite the suffering caused by the wounds on his feet. For those that did not know, Padre Pio had five wounds corresponding to the ones on Christ's body. So not only on his hands, but also on his side and feet. They were very deep wounds. They had been examined by doctors, but they found no natural explanation for them. So these were mystical wounds, known as the stigmata. During Mass, 
This wound will start spontaneously bleeding again, especially on Fridays. It was as if the Lord wanted to emphasize the day of the crucifixion. The bleeding was accompanied by a lot of pain, and during Lent became even more intense. The pain in his feet was so strong that Potter Peel would walk with difficulty. But despite the intense pain, for two hours every day he stood on his feet in Mass. One day he was pressed to explain this. How can he stand for two hours? This was Potter Pio's answer. Listen to this. Potter Pio says, During the celebration, I do not feel tired, because I am not standing but hang with Jesus on the cross as his co-participator in his work of redemption. So during Mass, Padre Pio would relive Jesus' experiences as if they were his own, from the Last Supper to the sufferings on Calvary all the way to the hanging on the cross. Looking at him, it would seem that he was standing firmly on the ground, but spiritually, he was being crucified with intense pain with our Lord on the cross. Although Padre Pio followed the same rite, the same rubrics of Mass celebrated around the world, his Mass was different. It had something transcendental, something not found in the Masses of other priests. In this regard, Rosario says, If it were not for this difference, then how else can one explain people making huge journeys at great financial costs, making all sorts of sacrifices just to attend the celebration of His Holy Mass, and that they did not become tired of waiting? It seems that Padre Pio was not the only one in a different state during Mass. Rosario compares the state of the Mass attendees with the state of the Apostles who witnessed Jesus' transfiguration on Mount Tabor. The same visitors and pilgrims were not content with attending just one Mass, but they insisted on attending each Mass every day as long as they were there in San Giovanni Rotondo, even if it meant getting out of bed before dawn. Padre Pio's Masses were always packed, summer and winter, Everybody wanted to frequently witness the Crucified Priest's Mass. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe, click the reminder bell, and share with your friends to help promote our channel. But the best way to get involved in our Padre Pio apostolate is to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. Just click the link in the description below to find out more. Check out the videos on the end screen and stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.